Hey everybody, Chris here, and today I want to show you how you can use VLC Media Player in order to play podcasts. Now, inside of VLC Media Player, you probably notice podcasts listed down here under the internet section, but you click on it and there's nothing available by default. And that's because VLC Media Player doesn't have its own repository of podcasts. Instead, what you have to do is add the URL of the podcast you want into VLC Media Player, and then it'll load all of the items in the feed, all of the different episodes, for you to be able to stream or even save them straight inside of VLC Media Player. So when you hit this subscribe to a podcast button, it's going to say enter the URL of the podcast to subscribe to, which isn't necessarily the most obvious thing. Uh, I could see some people interpreting that as, okay, enter the website's address, but really what they're looking for is the feed address. So you're looking for an RSS feed, and uh, this could also be like feed burner or that kind of thing if they have a podcast up on that. But generally, your RSS pages are going to look exactly like this. And when you have the web address of that, all you need to do is copy it with control C, go over to the subscribe box inside of VLC Media Player, right click, hit paste, hit OK, and the podcast is going to um, basically appear right below the podcast's link. If you click on that, you'll have every single item in that feed appear here on a giant list. If you double click on any of these items, it's going to start streaming from the internet wherever the file is actually located online, rather than downloading it directly. But if you want to save it to your computer for future use, you can right click on the podcast item, go to save, um, set the video or the the format of the file rather, which is generally going to be MP3 if you're doing audio uh, audio podcasts, and go ahead and set a destination file on your computer for the output, which is probably just going to be the name of the podcast .mp3. In fact, we could just go out here to the source, copy it, hit paste, hit browse, find a location on your computer, hit start, and then it will start saving it to that file. So really, that's all there is to podcasts inside of VLC Media Player. I'd say this is a good time to uh, bump Free Domain Radio. If you haven't checked out Free Domain Radio and Stefan Molyneux's podcasts, they're really great if you like philosophy. And aside from that, thank you very much for watching. I've been Chris. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you in my next video.